Hey Tigers, let's attempt to clear the eerie Halloween and Dia de los Muertos ambiances with November embracing us. My name is Andy Shen, introducing the second and major episode of our epic TNN Express broadcasts. Our crew feels exhilarated to share with you some news on the Slow HS theater production, senior Cuesta applications, Elks NVS scholarships, and most importantly, some fascinating Tiger sports, just to name a few. Let's relish this autumn weather, look forward to daylight saving time, as well as the intriguing news and announcements you need to know. Hey Tigers, this Thursday, November 2nd is Dia de los Muertos, or known as Day of the Dead. Here's what we got planned. The ofrenda will be set up here, and right next to it, we will have our Health and Wellness Commissioner managing the memory wall. The memory wall is a fun activity in which you can connect with your loved ones. You could be writing a name, a memory, or just anything. And then during lunch, we'll head over to the commons in which we can continue this activity. And then as for November 2nd, we will be wearing orange to um, just honor their loved ones. Hey Tigers, uh, we're in the library net right now, so we're gonna be a little bit quiet, but I wanted to let you know that next week during finals week on Monday night, the 6th, we're gonna have a special study with your buddies, study area. We've got the library is gonna be open, the student commons is gonna be open with snacks and hot chocolate. You can come with your friends and study and get ready for your final exams. The library will be open. We'll have lots of tables here. We have chairs to sit in over there. We'll have our breakout rooms open. And we just hope a lot of you show up. It'll be fun. All right, Monday night, six to nine, study with your buddies. We'll see you there. Seniors, believe it or not, graduation will be here before you know it. Our friends from Jocelyn's will be in the theater during tutorial on Monday, November 6th to give you information on ordering your cap and gown, plus some merch to help you celebrate your senior year. Although your event is months away and the time to plan and prepare for it is now. Join us for the tutorial and, and leave with the info you and your parents need. Sign up for Mr. Stewart's November 6th tutorial in the theater. All, sh all seniors should be there. The Elks MBS Award is a local scholarship program administered by our local Elks Lodge. Last year, over $30,000 was awarded to Slow High Seniors, but you must apply. Applications are due no later than November 13th. Please do not wait until the last minute as the letter of recommendation is required. Awards range from $1,000 to $2,500 locally and can go as high as $40,000 if you make it to nationals. Feel free to come chat with Miss Martin in the new career center in the new library if you would like to if you would like assistance. Go for it. One of the most signed up classes on Slow High School campus is Auto Shop. Students and staff will take their vehicles up to the shop for repairs. The classes who fixes these is the capstone class, automobile chassis and drivetrain systems. But why would people even take the class in the first place? We went to go ask students for their opinions. I just think that this class gives you like a, like a strong foothold into like what, what you would need to know to work on your own car at home or like in college if stuff goes wrong you know how to work on people's cars. Yeah it's like a good general knowledge on how to like work on any car. This class helps students and staff and creates memories and skills as students explain. Me and one of my classmates, Josh Chavez, had to replace a radiator and AC condenser that got completely crashed. Really rewarding, you know, getting to work on cars and seeing what you've like really done, seeing a physical result at the end of the day. Um, I'm currently working on Miss DeSanto's pickup truck. I've been working on it for the last like month and a half. And each day we work on it, we find something new that's wrong with it. So 
being able to fix up a car that's like pretty run down like that has been really rewarding because I feel like I'm actually doing something good and helping Mr. Santo out. Clearly this class is filled with experiences that will benefit the future for the better. Hey seniors, are you considering Cuesta as an option once you graduate from Slow High School? If so, we have a field trip opportunity for you. Cuesta Promise Day will be on November 16th from 9 o'clock a.m. to 1.30 p.m. To attend, two things must happen. Your parent must fill out the permission slip sent out via Parent Square, and you will need to fill out the attached student registration form. Both of these items need to be completed no later than November 7th in order to attend. Promise Day provides all local high school seniors the opportunity to go onto the Slow campus and discover what Cuesta College has to offer offer. Students will have the chance to learn about academic programs and talk to Cuesta staff. Information will also be provided about the Cuesta Promise, which provides two years of fee-free college to Slow County High School graduates. Lunch is in will be included and transportation is provided. Please email Ms. Hoyt at jhoyt at slcusd.org with any questions about the Promise or regarding this field trip. Hey, it's Sean here with your Tiger Sports today. Today for winter sports tryouts, we have boys soccer starting at 4 to 5.30 uh, at the Taylor Field. Girls soccer starting right after from 5.45 to 7.15. Girls basketball is over in the small gym today right after school from 4 to 6. Uh, boys basketball will be in the big gym from 5.15 to 7. And lastly, the boys and girls wrestling will be right outside the wrestling room. Uh, from 4 to 5.30. Note these times could change due to the cancellation of Monday's tryouts from the fire. Uh, with some CIF news, we have girls golf. Uh, Sophia Pearson and Zan McGovern both advance out of the CIF sectional championship and will play in the SoCal Regional Championship on Thursday, November 9th. Uh, cross country repeated as county champions in both the varsity boys and varsity girls um, teams they race on Saturday at Laguna Lake Golf Course full scores are on athletic.net uh, volleyball and tennis played their semifinal rounds last night and here's how that went For today's U.S. history, the celebration of the Day of the Dead began. The celebration of this day goes back to the Aztecs around 3,000 years ago, where they decided that the whole month of November will be used to remember their deceased relatives. It is now usually celebrated on November 1st and 2nd, and possibly other dates depending on traditions and other cultures. For lunch today, we will consume pork pozole verde, bean and cheese nachos, chicken taquitos, and wow butter and a house jam sandwich. Enjoy the beautiful mountains of candy you received from Halloween and relish the rest of your day and we'll see you all tomorrow.